hi everyone last day i have completed the first unit if you didn't watch the video i mentioned the video link in the uh, description box you just go and watch we move to the next unit uh, in this unit you need to connect to self post to postman so i already said about in the last video you just uh, download the postman and sign up so i already sign up and now we move to the signing let us see and uh, just sign in the postman and uh, after sign in, you just to need to create a blank workspace. The workspace name is Sales for Collection. So just click it here and uh, click on Workspace. And next is Create Workspace and click Blank. And just paste name. In this workspace is personal, so click it the personal and just create it. And wait for five seconds. Creating. And now we move to the next part, the fourth Sales for Collection. You need to create a fork. So just click it here, sales for developer. And after that, you need to expand for. Okay, just click it here, sales for developer uh, platform API. Click on fork. And uh, speed. Okay, the space name. Uh, here is a little. There here is two workspace. You need to create sales for collection. It's the team works by default. So you need to click sales for collection, and just for collection. Okay, so now your fork is created. Okay, now it's created. And uh, now we move to the third part. Authorize your org. So you just click it here and here is authorization. Go down in the type of org 2.0, go down and you just get access token. And after you need to first log in Salesforce. So click allow and click on proceed and copy this URL. Let's copy it to use this token and first thing uh, in this web browser the postman is not working so you need to log in the app desktop application so i already downloaded and sign up so just open it and just uh, view your all workspace you already redirect all the workspaces click it here you are already created salesforce collection so you redirect your pages so you need to authorize here also so click it here Wait a minute. Okay. Uh, click on authorization. Go slide down. Clear cookies. Get access. You go to the page. Allow. And just open postman. Okay. Now proceed. Copy the CRM. And use token. Click on variable. And you here is C. And the URL you paste it is the endpoint row. Okay. Go slide down here is an endpoint row. Okay, here now we paste it to your URL without any spaces. Just save it. And now, after that completion, you uh, go to the Salesforce platform API, rest, expand, get limit. Okay, and here is a rest. Go slide down. Here is the limit. You need to call the API, just send a request. Now, your request is successful 200 point okay and after that you need to uh, okay authorize access uh, you need to open the setting authorization okay for all reader now click in settings and uh, authorize your reader follow authorization reader click it and just save after saving you know to move to the second part under rest is object okay after rest is object and uh, post is object create okay post object create and after that you need to create a body or enter account okay here is value is account now okay wait wait uh, account save and click on body in body you need to paste this code so just copy it paste and then save after saving you just send a new account okay here is 200 is showing the limit is 200 now it's showing 201 okay now send this this one and now you created 201 uh, in this unit you need to just create a first day uh, you just log in the postman and after that you uh, create a uh, one for collection then authorize 
and uh, just copy the URL and paste it and just call this API get, uh, get and rest and after that you just uh, authorize and uh, one pass a body and call it. So this is completed. So now check the verify steps. Let's wait for 10 seconds. Now it's completed. Okay, the wait con separate con. Okay, uh, here is one condition. I may click it here. Now check. Because my playground using I'm this playground, that's why the swing reader. Okay, now now your unit is completed. If you have any doubt, you just comment it. And uh, in the bot, when it completed, if you didn't watch the first video, I mean, in the comment box, the all the links. So just go through it. If you have any query, just comment it. Thank you so much for watching.